Hi guys, welcome back to a new video on my channel. Um, today I am doing a review of the Arteza 24 set of gouache colours. I ordered them off Amazon about a week ago. They came practically the next day because of Prime. But yeah, here they are. Um, I've been using them for a few pieces over the past week and I thought I'd do a review on them because they are really 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 good for the price and obviously I want people to see that and you know not everyone has all the money in the world to buy expensive products and stuff so I feel this would really help them. Um, this is just a succulent piece that I did last week to test out the gouache and as you can see it, it, I really really like the textures it made, it's really smooth, it was really creamy it's just it's just all nice overall and then I did a candy corn piece as well using the same gouache I'm, I'm obviously I'm not the most experienced person ever using gouache um, I used it a few times during my a-level I painted burgers with it so which is why I chose to paint a burger today because it's something I know how to paint. I'm not the best at painting burgers, but I know how to paint it, so I felt pretty confident in doing that with a new media. Um, usually I use either acrylic or watercolour, so gouache is like that in-between, sort of. It's like a mix of both, but it's more towards watercolour because it's water-soluble, so you can like blend the colours a little bit more. But yeah, back, back to the review. <laughs> Um, you get 24 colours in this set. My set cost £15.98 from Amazon. Um, and then obviously if you don't have Prime, you have to pay postage. But if you pay, if you spend over £20 on qualifying items, you can get the postage for free. So that's why I did. I just brought something else for like £4 and I've got free postage. So... <laughs> Here I am just putting down the base layers of the painting with some very, very watered down. I, I mixed a few colours together, but not loads of colours together, but a few, <laughs> just to kind of get the right base tone that I was looking for. And as you can see, they went down very bright, very vividly. They dry quite vividly. Obviously, they dry matte because they're a gouache. And so, yeah, um, but yeah, I definitely would recommend these if you are, maybe if you, maybe if you don't have the most amount of money in the world, I, I definitely don't have a lot of money. <laughs> I mean, I'm working, I, I'm a student, I'm working, so I definitely don't have the most amount of money to buy expensive supplies all the time. I have a few of the Windsor and Newton gouache, the ones in a little white tube, and they're like, five pound a tube and I just can't afford to buy them all the time especially since gouache isn't my main like focus my main material my main material is definitely either probably probably more watercolor than acrylic but I do paint with both um anyway what can I say about <laughs> anything else about it um I do have to say that the packaging they came in is absolutely amazing. None of them were damaged. None of them, like when I opened them, had the paint spilling out of them, which means they had been clearly taken care of. They come in like a, a metal, a metal tube. I don't really know how to describe it. A nice metal tube, but it's re really nice and sturdy. So you could definitely carry them around with you if you wanted to. The next thing is that all the colours, there's a very, very nice range of colours, um, including two whites. You get a normal white and then a titanium white, but they both have the same pigment in, so I'm not entirely sure what the difference is, and they both look the same to me, but I'm sure there is a difference. But, you know, you can never get enough of white, especially when painting with gouache, because you need it to lighten up colours, add highlights. You could do basically anything <laughs> with a white, with a white and a black, and you've got all the gradients you could need. The, the paints definitely blend very well. I, I'm the type of person who I love having things blended, like 
I'm not very good at leaving things unblended, which is why I don't think I'm that good at digital art. But I'm trying to work on it. I'm trying to work on my style over the summer as a whole. Because I just want to... I just want to show people what I can do. Like, I've been practicing for four, four or five years now. Obviously, a lot of people are doing it more longer than that. But I, start, I started drawing when I was very, very young. And I have done it, like, all my life. But, like, I've only taken it very seriously the last four or five years. Which is why I'm so glad that I can paint things and look semi-realistic, considering... I used to be awful. I have some old sketchbooks, which I might do a tour of one time. And they look absolutely awful. But, oh well. Um, as you can see here, I'm just adding little highlights and different colour details to the burger itself. Because if you look at a burger, it's not entirely one colour. It kind of has little speckles in it. I don't really know why. I'm not a chef. <laughs> but that's what I'm doing. And adding some more detail to the bun, because the bun isn't perfectly smooth. It's textured as most food is. Um, the hardest part about this painting, I think, was definitely the onions. I don't think I really left enough room for them. Or maybe I just didn't choose the right reference photo, but yeah, I found this picture on Pinterest, so it was great help. Pinterest, by the way, is a great resource if you need it. This just works brilliantly. Um, so yeah, coming coming near the end now. I'm quite happy with how it turned out actually. Um, it took me how long? Uh, I'd say three four hours. I did have a lunch break in between because my camera died, so I had to charge it. So I had some lunch at like ten o'clock in the morning, but that's fine. <laughs> we will ignore that. Um, so here I'm just adding some final little details with some little dots using a zebra sensations pen and I really like how it turned out but overall yeah I think the Arteza gouache is a great choice if you're looking to buying some but you're not like fully professional enough to be confident with them I definitely recommend them this isn't sponsored at all but yeah here's the finished product very happy with it I think you could definitely tell it looks like a burger which is a positive <laughs> always a positive uh yeah, just let me know it, it, what other videos you guys would like to see because I'm going to be making a lot over the summer, just trying to grow my community and stuff. But yeah, thank you all for watching and be sure to check out my social medias, link in the description. I will also put the materials in the description and find the Amazon links for the Arteza gouache. Thank you guys, see you next time, bye!